Um, let's talk a little bit about speed and just starting to build some of that up, okay? Um, there has to be a, a certain level of confidence with the picking, and one of the quickest ways to do it is to use our three note per string shapes. And we kind of worked on it a little bit when we wound up linearly, but I think because we're trying to work on modes, let's, um, let's kind of look at it horizontally. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take each string and we're just gonna divide it into triplets. So just one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Nice and simple there, okay? Yeah. Yep, let's do it together a few times and just get comfortable with that big stretch right there. Okay. Three triplet, four triplet. Okay. What I want you to notice, Chris, is every pick stroke starts with the opposite of the last. Down, up, down, up. What happens is when we work, when we start playing quickly, a lot of times we can't keep track of the pick stroke, but we can always keep track of when we do that first hit on that string or that first hit of that group of triplets. Down, up, down, up, okay? A lot of times we'll also pay attention to when we hit that next string, okay? How am I gonna, is, does, does that next string start with an up or a down? Okay, we, we, we rarely ever think, well, I gotta be alternating through all of that because... <laughs> A lot of times you don't even have time to think about that right, because it's yeah, moving yeah. so fast. Yeah. But I can certainly want to, like, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, I can, I can okay. think about that. Yeah. I don't know, so, but too many pick strokes tend to get a little overwhelming at times. So what we're going to do is just exactly what we just did there, but now we're going to be thinking of that first pick stroke on each group of three okay. and try to stay consistent. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, so we'll just stay right there. And what we'll do is we'll do each set on, on in, in the Ionian there, string here, and then here, and then here, mm -hmm. and then here, okay? Just so that we get a good feel of the mode and for the different tensions. Want, so what are we doing? We're doing, just we're just gonna, on, yeah, just stay on here for a bit, okay. okay? So three triplet, four triplet. Down, up, down, down, A bit challenging, so let's try it again, okay? So three triplet, four triplet. Good job moving your first finger too. I'm very happy that you're not anchoring that. So let's speed it up now. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. That's, right. that's exactly what you want. Okay. Try to keep the uh, triplets um, even too. You don't want to be going like... Like just... Dun, 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 dun. Okay. okay, don't make one faster than the other. All right, let's do the same thing on the next string. Here we go. Up on the A string, same idea. Starting slow, gradually speeding it up. Thinking about those pick strokes as we're playing through. Three triplet, four triplet. That's okay. I'm trying to say down, up, down, up. I'm throwing myself off. Well, even if you just think it in your head. That's what I'm doing, yeah. But definitely get that snap, okay? Okay, it does, it does work. Like, the brain moves pretty fast. And you can you can register the feel of that down and up stroke. Even if you're not saying down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, you can still feel when you go down. Yeah, okay. yeah, absolutely you can. Okay. So here we go. Three triplet, four triplet. <laughs>
See how it's a bit of a workout right there, especially up there on those bigger frets. Okay, so let's shrink up the space a little bit. Let's take a look at the two fours here. Okay, over on the D string, same idea. A little less tension, so make sure we're always playing right off of the tip of that pick. Don't dig in too hard, okay? And we use the other fingers as as leverage against that thumb. Okay, here we go. Three triplet, four triplet, down, up, down, up, down, up. Stuff. You can drive your poor wife nuts with this exercise. Yeah, right. But like you'll totally get it by the end of it. All right. Um, let's go right to the high E string now. We know what we're doing with this mode, so we'll just finish up there. We've got a one, three, four there on the high E, starting at the fifth fret. If we're talking about uh, Ionian still, okay. And we should be pretty far forward here, right? We should yeah. be pretty close to that neck, getting a good snap just off of the tip of that pick okay here we go three triplet four triplet okay, really looking for that snap picking it up a bit go okay all right so you know uh, when you're practicing it at home maybe do it like eight times okay and just walk through by the time you get to the last one boy you'll be flying so okay all right yep. so that's definitely a, a good speed exercise to work on. All right. Um, now coming back, you could do the other way. You could do it all. But I'm not going to worry about that for right now. Let's just okay. worry about going up. All right. Okay. Sounds good. All right. So the next one we're going to do is kind of the same idea, but now we're going to do in two string groupings because. The way that we approach it with single strings is we're starting every string with a downstroke. When you do two strings, start the second one up. That's right. Yeah. So we got to be able to put pull that off. Okay. All right. So love these exercises. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's just go in one direction right now, so because we kind of did that with this one. So we're just going to go straight up. Okay. So remember, down, up, down, up. Let's try that together. Okay. Three triplet, four triplet. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Good stuff. And don't worry about palm mute or things like that. We're just trying to get the hand synchronized. We're trying to get the pick strokes in there. If we get a little bit of... That's fine. Okay. okay, that just means you're you're actually physically touching the string, which okay. is a, a good thing to do. Okay, okay. palm mute is always welcome. Yeah. All right. So, and um, even though it's only two str two strings, we are still incorporating the arm movement. Okay, so forward and then back. Forward, back, forward, back, forward. And as we've said before, if you want to overemphasize that arm movement, 
stuff excellent so just keeping aware of those pick strokes and you will totally get that okay. that's so nice all right um now logic would dictate that we do the next two as one two fours and then the next two as uh, one three fours but actually i'm not a very logical person i like to combine them to make different combinations so we'll what we'll do is we'll just go to the a string the fifth string and we'll do the big stretch in the one two four because okay. you are going to run into those combinations as well sure okay so let's give that guy a try. Okay. Three triplet, four triplet. Nice arm movement. That's awesome. Right out of the gate. Oh, good. Oh, there was one thing. Sorry. There's one other thing I had to mention. As you're building up speed, um, it's going to feel like your arm is moving more. Yeah. Because it is. All right. Yeah. And the pick is actually moving less because what you're trying to do is, if this is a string, when you play slowly, you tend to sway a little bit more from the side of, of the string, but as you're playing faster, you te that tends to feel a little bit smaller. Okay, that in contrast with the increased arm movement, with the as you're changing strings quicker because you are moving quicker, mm -hmm. it's going to feel like you're doing nothing but arm and you're not using any pick at all. Mm -hmm. So don't let that okay. don't let that feeling kind of set you off a little bit. That's actually normal. As you okay. build up speed, it's going to feel like it's all coming from the arm. Okay, because it almost is. All right. All right. Here we go. So back in that uh, big stretch with the one, two, four, starting on the, the fifth string at the third fret. Three triplet, four triplet. So as we're at a slower tempo, even though we're playing slowly, we could still think of just really honing in on the immediate outsides of that string. See how small we can make that pick stroke. A good habit to get into. We don't have to, but as we're speeding up, we have to. Yes, we'll never start with an upstroke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a there's a type of picking called um, economy picking yep. or sweet picking. And they always dictate that the next pick stroke is always the direction in which your arm is traveling. Mm. So that would be down, down, up, down, down, up, down. I can't even do it, no. but... Try to avoid that if you can, because yeah, yeah, the arm's yeah. going to want to tell that hand what to do. Okay. All right, so, um, yeah, let's do the uh, the two, two, four. How's your hand doing? Yeah. Your wrist okay? Yeah, I'm finding it cranked a bit. All right, let's go up a bit then, okay? Uh, this is a big, pretty big reach. Let's go up. Um, let's go up and see. Okay, so up there on the on the eighth fret. Yep. All right, and so that would mean if we're in the key of C, we're still using Ionian here. So we're at the ninth fret then with two, uh, one two fours. Okay, so right there, doing a one two four and a one two four. Yep. Okay. So same idea. We're just going to do downs and then ups. Three triplet, four triplet. <laughs> Speed up. Pick strokes getting smaller. The arm's still moving. Even more pronounced. Yeah, you got it. All right, okay. and let's do another combination. Okay, so we've got the the one two four with the one three four. You always got to do that G and B string combination because okay. it's just so weird. All right, here we go. Three triplet, four triplet. Okay, so let's make sure we're a little bit more forward there. Okay, we're almost to our last string, so we should be pretty close to that neck. Yep, together. Three triplet, four triplet. Position shifting is killer, isn't it? And the finger too. <laughs> you got it though. 
You want to try to pick it up? Or, no, <laughs> okay, all right. no, I couldn't do that. Not yet. You will. You totally will. Yeah, You're already yeah. on your way. Not tonight, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's a one, three, four that you do. There, you go. there we go. That's right. Nice. Okay. okay. Yep. And the last one. We can do the last one. Here we go. So it's just a pair of three fours there at the tenth fret. Okay. Three triplet, four triplet. This one's not too bad for speed. Okay. Again, don't let the don't let the wrist kind of just drop. Okay, got to move the arm. Okay. There we go. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so all together. All right, so... So that's just doing them all in groups of two. So one triplet, two triplet, one triplet. Two. Okay. And yeah, so let's try that now. All right. Okay. Here we go. Three triplets. Sorry. Hang on. What are we doing? Now? We're still doing uh, Ionian. Okay. okay. So just at the uh, eighth fret now, just to keep us from doing that yeah. killer reach. Three triplet, four triplet. <laughs> That's right. You got it. Yep. Okay. Yep. Kind of have to think of. I'm not going through the scale singly. I'm going in groups of two. So that string, and now the fifth string, and now the fourth string, and now the, so on and so forth. Okay. There you go. Three triplet, four triplet. That's right. Good. Can we try that again? Yep. Three triplet, four triplet. Once more, three triplet, four triplet. <laughs> That's right. Individual groups of two strings. It's confusing enough, I know. Okay. Three triplet, four triplet. <laughs> yeah, because it feels like you're just repeating strings. Right. You know, it's no, it's a, it's just the start of the next group of two. <laughs> All right, and that's where you go. Okay. So, um. Start it in the key of G and just do that with each mode as you as you work your way up. So do that in Ionian and then Dorian and Phrygian and Lydian. And okay. Move it up that way. All right. Okay. We have to also start looking at uh, some sweet picking. Okay. okay. Sweet picking is when you start doing <laughs> all that kind of interesting stuff. Okay. Okay. It's it's a very quick way of, of getting across arpeggios. Um, like big fretboard jumps, and um, I'm not the best sweet picker, but I can I can fake it really well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, now there's a very very simple exercise that can get you going. Um, some people call it the zombie sweep because it's it's about as musical as uh, the uh, warm up. Okay. Right. So, um, but the, the whole idea is you're training your the two hands to work together. That's usually the biggest issue with. Uh, sweet picking is is getting the timing down in the two parts. All right. All right. So yeah. I'm just going to show you this exercise. We'll go up on the uh, up on the ninth fret here. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're basically just going to make this kind of a shape. It's uh, if you want to think of it as a chord, it's a major seven chord, but who cares? So basically, you're going in a diagonal motion, starting on the twelfth fret, working your way to the ninth. That's right. And then the other way is you're just going to line it backwards. All right. And just, that's right. Okay. So those are the, you're going to do four notes that way, and four notes the other way. Okay. And that's really all there is to this exercise. Okay. Alright, so as we're going across, what we got to do is as soon as you hit that note, Chris, you've got to mute it. Okay. When, when it comes to sweet picking and playing arpeggios, we don't want chord sound, okay, because it's just going to mess up the individual notes. We want... So as soon as it comes out, you gotta shut it off. All right, that's right. So let's give that a try. So just 
one note at a time. And now you're still going to do, you still want that downstroke feel. You want to feel like you're still pushing that thumb down as you're doing each note. All right. Yep. Try to avoid the temptation to use a, like a strum with your wrist. Good stuff. Now the fingers are moving while we're doing this. That's right. That's it. Good stuff. Okay. That looks pretty good. Does it feel? It feels weird, I'm sure, but it gets normal pretty pretty quickly. All right, so now we're going to flip over the other way, and we're going to sort of draw the rest of our X, if you will, and these are going to be upstrokes, all right? And we're just going to, same idea. How do you mute it? Uh, well, you don't have to worry about it because you're not playing a chord. You're just playing individual notes. Yep. That's right. So we're still pulling the arm back. <laughs> Fun stuff, eh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the eyes, you know, like I said, it's zombie, because you know, your eyes start to roll back after you do a few yeah. of these. Oh, you're kidding me! You. That's the whole point. <laughs> front and back like that. That's right. So you're gonna go. <laughs> So let's try a few times. See how we do. All right. <laughs> yeah. all right. It's, it's a technique that shredders have, okay? Perfect. You've seen them all the time. They do this these crazy yeah. outrageous shreds and then yeah. they go blah, 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 right? So yeah. this is what they're doing. Okay? All right. This is how they started. Okay. All right, so here we go. Nice easy eighth notes though. Three and four go. Nice muting. Looks great, Chris. Fantastic. Okay, so we're still after that snap. We want to hear the individual notes. Go. You got it though. Okay. That's totally it right okay. there. All right. And so obviously the next step is to just take the string back and do the exact same thing. Okay. All right. So up on the 12th fret. And then down on the low E. Going between those. Again, totally non musical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. <laughs> Yep. It's the whole idea is get get these two synchronized and get used to doing getting across those those strings sure. fluently. Okay, right now we're just trying to just trying to get comfortable with it, get used to it. All right, so we did that. And we got 15 minutes. Let me give you your first major arpeggio then. Okay. All right. Yep. And so this is just based off of a um, a C chord. So you can kind of. And that's actually the easiest way to look at it, to be honest. Um, if you've ever played uh, acoustic and you've done like an open C chord, do you remember those guys at all? Yes. Okay, it's the same idea, but we're just doing a bar over top of it, right? So that's, that's sort of... We're going to stay at the ninth fret here. How are you playing this? Uh, with a pinky. So I'm going pinky, yeah. third, skip a string, and then second finger, and then I'm barring. Oh, you're thinking of an E. <laughs> I'm yeah. thinking. I'm thinking of a C shape. Okay. Oh, you're thinking of a C shape. Yes. You're doing a C. Yeah. Right. Okay, so so you technically, a C. what I'm playing here then is an A, but I'm playing it an, an A chord with a C shape attached to it because my roots right here. And where's the? It's on the uh, ninth still. Yeah, ninth fret. Oh, okay. That's right. So we'll just keep everything, you know, in the same location here for now. Is that right? That is totally it. Okay. So if you play it, you can kind of hear the chord. Right. You don't even have to borrow all the way across because we really only there's only two strings down below that we have to contend with there. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So the arpeggio is just all of those notes 
separately. And so you're going to go... Okay, so you're building, you're just drawing out that C chord. I'm adding one more note at the at the bottom there. That's yeah. the, uh, the the major third there. It's the same note as... Sorry. What note is that? One, three, five, one, three, five. Five, sorry. <laughs> okay. So let's just walk through it. So visualize that, that chord shape, that C chord shape. Yes. Okay, and we're just going to play each note individually, nice and slow. We're just going to map it out. So start with the pinky. Okay, and then third, and now first, right? Because that's where the bar was. Yeah. Then second, then first again. And we're just going to add the pinky there on the high E string. And then come back. Awesome, let's do okay. that again. stuff so what happens when we get to the high E string okay we're when we're going down we're obviously doing all down strokes yeah. right down 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 then we're going to do an up yeah and a down now why would we do that because we're doing more than one note on a single string that's alternate picking yeah okay we're not going to go or anything like that so okay. we're just down 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 up down and now ups on the way back oh, okay yep yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. So let's give that a try. Okay. So down, down, down. I'll try it again. Down, 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 down. Now alternating. And then ups, up, up, up. There we go. Let's do it a few times. All right. Okay. Ready? Go. That's right. Take your time. Yeah, let's uh so we'll stop and then we'll do like a ready go after that. Okay. okay. Ready go. Yeah, and then back to your first finger. Ready go. Down, down. Ups now. Ready go. Down, 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 down. Alternating. Get that snap even on the way up. We don't want it, this to be like a non moving hand and we're just pulling, okay? Still want to get that. Okay? Okay, let's try it again. Ready? Go. Good. Ready? Go. That's not bad. Ready? Okay. Go. Like that. That was nice. Ready, go. I think you're getting used to it. Ready, go. <laughs> Not that used to it. No. <laughs> it's hard to do clean, but. All right, it, it's, it's a nice little major arpeggio. for fun okay um, one of the other things that you can do is is maybe just condense it and just do uh, a lot of people um, just use the bottom three string just get comfortable working that in okay and just okay so let's throw that in the mix now. So what you're going to do is you're going to go. Okay, so you're going to repeat the last three strings. All right. Okay. So here we go. So straight down. Back. So as soon as you get to that G string, you're going to go back up again. And now straight back. Okay. Okay, let's try it again. stuff now it works well if you don't stop if you can help it so sorry all right so you would just as soon as you finish that's the first note of your next set okay okay ready go that's okay 
You got it. Let's try it again. Ready, go. stuff that's okay. awesome all right now if you want to if you get bored of doing it the same way over and over again yeah um no one says that you have to put your last note there okay. you could go okay you could okay. go a little bit higher <laughs> no boring or not yeah well the other way the other thing too is um I, i've shown it before when it when we repeat the last three strings we actually do each one with a different ending note so um the first one would be normal sorry oh. okay. all right so normal going high going low and back to normal again Okay. Okay, that's a nice little workout. I we do have that on record. I just want to walk you through it one time, sure. just for curiosity's sake. <laughs> okay. So we'll just stay on those bottom three strings. Yep. Okay, so the first one is normal. Now we're gonna extend to the 14th fret. And now our first finger is gonna right. go, go and, and then pinky stays where he is. Okay, that's the weirdest one of the bunch. All yep. right. Okay. So let's try it again. So normal, then pinky, then first finger, and then normal again. Going high. Going low with the first finger. And normal. Nice. There you okay. go. All right. So let's do the whole arpeggio. And when we get to that, that last three notes, we'll put that little interchange okay. in there. Okay? Yeah. Here we go. Normal, high, low, normal, and come all the way back. There you go. Okay. So. Okay. You get it's it's a it's a yeah. neat little neat little thing to, to try and it kind of expands your fretboard.